Now let's see how we can run an actual IRP poisoning attack and redirect the flow of packets uh, and make it flow through our device. We're gonna talk about a tool called ARP spoof which is part of a suit called dsniff. dsniff is a tool that contains a number of programs that can be used to launch man in the middle attacks. We're gonna talk about ARP spoof only and we're gonna see how to use it to carry an ARP poisoning which would redirect the flow of packets through our device. ARP spoof is an old tool but it still works and um, because it's so simple it's been import it's been ported to Android, iOS and other uh, smaller syst operating systems. Therefore and there's a lot of people that actually like to use it to do ARP poisoning that's why we're gonna show how to use this tool. In the next video and all the videos after that we're gonna use a tool called ITERCAB. We'll see how we use it and how we do ARP poisoning in that tool but for this video um, I just want to show you how to use ARP spoof because it's going to be used a lot so you need to know how to use it. It's very simple anyway. So um, I'm connected now to the target network and my wireless card is in managed mode not in monitor mode because we don't want to we only want the packets that are directed to our device. So let's see how we use the tool. It's going to be ARP spoof I to choose our Wi-Fi card so it's LAN 0 then we're gonna put the uh, target IP address so my target is this Windows device if we go IP config we'll see its IP and that's its IP it's 192.168.169 Then we will put uh, the IP address for the access point, which is 192.168.11. This will tell the access point that the client IP address has my MAC address. So basically it's going to tell the access point that I am the target client. After this, we're going to have to run ARP spoof again. So I'm just going to copy it. Actually, just let me copy it properly. And instead of telling um, the access point that I am the target client, I'm going to tell the client that I am the access point. So we're just going to flip the IPs. So by running these two commands, we're going to fool the access point and the client, and we're going to let the packets flow our, through our device. Now let me just show you in the target, this is the target device again. I'm gonna show you the ARP table. So if I just go ARP A, it's gonna show me this is the ARP table. So we can see that um, this is the IP address for the access point and we can see its MAC address. It's stored in this ARP table. Now once we do the attack, you'll see that the MAC address here for the target access point is going to change and it's going to be my attacker IP address, uh, MAC address. So let's do it and see what happens. I'm going to hit enter here. And I'm going to hit enter here. Now we'll also need to do something called uh, enabling IP forwarding. We do that so uh, when the packets flow through our device they don't get dropped so that each each packet that gets through our device gets actually forwarded to its destination so when we get a packet from the router it goes to the client and when a packet is coming from the client should go to the router without being dropped in our device so we're gonna enable it using this command And that's it enabled. Now let's just go to the target device and have a look on the ARP table. And as you can see, um, the MAC address here is different than the MAC address there. Even though they're both pointing to the access point, 
you can see that the access point now have a different MAC address and this MAC address is the MAC address for the attacker device let me just confirm that to you if I open this again and if I do uh, if config plan zero you'll see that this MAC address is the same one as the one that this device think that the access point has so this device now thinks the attacker device is the access point and every time it tries to uh, sense it tries to access the internet or every time it tries to communicate with the access point it's going to send these requests to the attacker device instead of sending it to the, ac the actual access point this will place our attacker device in the middle of the connection and we will be able to read the packets and do fun stuff with it we're gonna see how we do that in the next videos so for now we just need to know how to do a basic ARP poisoning we're gonna need to do this on every time we try to do a man in the middle attack